Right, so horrible histories. It's it's it, it was part of a, a whole generation of kids TV okay. consumption. Was it part of yours growing up? I mean, was you was you a fan of the, the series? Yeah, I mean, yeah. big time for me. Um, growing up, the books and the TV series were massive amongst my friend group, and um, also my school. It was kind of incorporated in lessons and stuff like that. Um, and I'm very dyslexic, and I think. I remember really enjoying reading the books and finding an interest in history through the books rather than in the classroom where I always found it really hard. Um, and it doesn't feel like you're learning as well. Which yeah, it's I think a fun way to learn. You don't feel like, you know, it doesn't feel like homework or whatever, And you're, yet you learn so much. Like, I learned so mm. much on the set and I used to really look forward to history on a Friday with Mr Hale because he used to let us watch it. <laughs> well, yeah, I wish I had a teacher like that when I was at school. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> um, so obviously you play Etty and Orla as well and you know, Roman and a, and a Celtic who are supposed to be enemies but you mm. end up becoming friends. Yeah. Um, but you, also... you move away from me when you yeah, say that. Well, well, we're, we're supposed not. to be yeah. friends. <laughs> yeah, supposed to be. <laughs> but you're also good friends in real life as well. How did you manage to, you know, end up on the same film together? Yeah, we've been friends yeah. for so long now, um, and we've wanted to do a film together for ages. And yeah, Bash was cast before me, um, and he was like, "Have you have you not been asked to go to Far Away Histories? There's a there's a part for a girl in it." And I was like, "No, I haven't been called. I haven't been called." He was like, "No, you have to. You have to. You have to be called." Like what? And he was um, you were chemistry reading with other girls and yeah. stuff. So I was like, "Oh, I think I think they just I wasn't called for it, and I've missed my chance." And then I got this call saying will you um, send a self-tape? And I, so I did, and then they asked me to go into the room and meet them, but I I was on my way to a premiere at the time, so I was kind of dressed in heels and a dress and everything, so I, I uh, well, the opposite, I looked like the opposite to Orla, basically. So I, I went and I was I didn't tell Bash because I was like, oh, I'm not gonna get it. I was in a dress and had my hair done and makeup on and things. Um, and then I... <laughs> and then, yeah, and then I just get her turning up at my door very nonchalant at first, and then just being like, oh, by the way, I got, all in horrible histories and there was a lot of screaming, you know. Yeah, I think I lost my voice the next day, <laughs> you, the you know, one. but yeah, I was the one who was screaming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, and then the fun continued on set, it was amazing. And um, not only were we, you know, best friends before we started the film, but we made so many good friends yeah. um, with people we'd grown up watching on screen, you know, Nick Frost, Kate Nash. It was just, it was crazy. It was an amazing experience. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, you've got such a great cast as well. Some yeah. people like Derek Jacobi, I don't know if you spent any time with him. Uh, Kim Cattrall as well. I mean, how was it like working with these guys? Did they give you some tips, acting tips for the future? Yeah, I mean, me personally, Rupert Graves has really become a mentor um, to me. And uh, they just, I think, because they're all massive names and so... Um, so experienced in what they do. Um, it was slightly daunting for both of us. Um, when we started, but they just put us at ease and they were so lovely, all of them. And yeah, lots of them have really, I mean, we're going to a Kate Nash concert in a couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, no, everyone, and Warwick Davis would just chat and talk to us about the industry and it was just, it was amazing and we learned so much, both history and also how From the them. job works, yeah. yeah. Um, of course, you get to wear a Roman costume as well. Yeah. I mean, your, yours, is, yours is better, you know, you're covered up. Yeah, she got a cool legs. one. I know, well, the funny story about the legs, I don't know if you could tell, but mine are slightly hairier than they are in the film. <laughs> And um, they made me get my legs waxed for the role. Genuinely, I've got a video of me like it's, screaming. It's pure gold. These poor women who are having their nails done who've gone in for like a nice day out, and there was me being like, ah! <laughs> it was like a rug after. Yeah, I know. Oh, don't, don't stop. <laughs> oh. Brilliant. Anyway, uh, I just had this image of you um, getting waxed. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so. Um, Obviously, as well, there's it's not just a history lesson as well. There's a, a message for young girls mm. in there as well. I mean, how would you feel about, you know, telling women that it's, you know, you can go out and fight as well? Mm -hmm. How does that feel for well, you? That that's part? what drew me to the to the role of Orla. She's just, she's ambitious and she's feisty and, and she's strong and brave. And, yeah, we kind of, we liked the role reversal mm. kind of situation. Um, yeah, of the stereotypical, mm. like, male character and female yeah, character. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it was fun. It was fun to play. It was really fun. I think also within the history that we look at, you've got characters like Boudicca and Kim, uh, Kim Cattrall plays uh, Agrippina. These are real-life characters uh, in history and, well, real people, and they're such strong females. And like, Agrippina's running Rome. She's got that down to a T. Um, you've got Boudicca, who's just smashing it in England. And I just think having those strong female characters in history, uh, it's, it's, it, I think it's really nice, and it's yeah. lovely that it's embedded in the film. Yeah. Um, yeah well, there's also quite a bit of a, a, a few 
dance uh, sequences as well and a few songs. <laughs> um, how much fun was that? I mean, did you want to get being part of a bit more? Because you didn't really seem to take part in that many that I noticed. The, the songs, yeah, we yeah. definitely wanted to do more. <laughs> um, the dancers were so much fun. Yeah, they were yeah. amazing. That that day that we shot the, yeah. the finale dance scene was super fun. It was so hot and we shot all day. Yeah. And by the end we all had blisters and but it was such everyone was just laughing because no one had asked. I don't know if you were asking your no. audition if you could dance, but no one had asked us if we could dance. So everyone was kind of just mucking in and trying to. And it didn't help that they put amazing dancers. But yeah, right we in had front these like us. pro dancers kind of flips worse, around really. us, and then we were there like. <laughs> um, but no, it was it was so much fun, and we yeah we really wanted to do more songs. Um, yeah. Especially our duo, we literally had like five minutes at the end of the day to film it. The light was going, um, so... And that was just, that was so much fun. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? Yeah. Nice. Hey!